Hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson. And in this lesson, we're going to take a quick look on how we can troubleshoot rules. Um, for example, if we created a certain detection, but it's not working or not working as expected. I'm going to go ahead and use our existing detection right here. And I'm going to uh, deliberately mess it up a bit. And I would say, for example, I would change the indexing, right? So this one would be indexed on username. And this one would be indexed by source IP. So let's go ahead and implement this change and see what curator does in that case. I'm going to pause the video here for a few moments for the new offense to kick in. Okay, guys, welcome back. And as we can see, we have our new offense here. And if you go ahead and open the events, we can see that this time we are only getting um, events from our Windows machine, but we don't get any events from the custom rule engine. Now, in addition to that, no second offense for custom rule engine has been triggered. Now, the reason that this happened is because remember, we changed our indexing to be on, on username, right? Now, one thing that you guys need to keep in mind is that if the index you choose is not available, in this case, our username here is NA, the indexing is not going to work. So, for example, if I were to change the indexing in the event itself to username here as well, right, no offense would be triggered for this detection because the index you chose effectively does not exist. So, this is one way to troubleshoot your rules. So, if you created a a good rule, but you choose the wrong, the wrong index, if the index is not available, like we've seen, it's not going to generate an offense. So keep that in mind. And the second thing I want to show you is if we do have a different index, and the index exists. So let's say, for example, we're going to choose destination port here because we saw that it was zero. And you see source IP, destination port, they're different, and they both exist. So let's go ahead and see what happens in that case. I'm gonna pause here again. Okay, guys, welcome back. And as we can see, now we have two offenses. Now, why is that? The reason is because we chose two different indexes and they both exist. Right, so the first index we chose is source IP, and the second index we chose is destination port. And you can see that under offense type, this is the index that you chose. And we can see that the log source of the first offense is our custom rule engine. And if you open this one up, we can only see our custom rule engine event itself, but we're not gonna see the Windows events. Windows events, we're only gonna see in the second offense. Is this. So if you have a rule and you have different indexes um, and they both exist, uh, this is basically what's going to happen. But talking about cases where you have the same index, but the offense doesn't trigger for some reason, based on my experience, 99% of the times it's because you missed something in your uh, tests. So something here. right? You know, it could be a small mistype, a typo, a small typo, um, order of the of the tests not being correct, uh, case sensitivity, like we've talked about, uh, the difference between between equals any off, which is uh, case sensitive and contains any off, which is not case sensitive. So, really make sure you pay extra attention when you are creating the rule itself to make sure that you really got it down uh, correctly because every small mistake or a miss that you create here can mean the difference between your offense being triggered 
or not. So for that video, we have covered a few common examples. Common examples uh, we can see in order to troubleshoot our uh, detections. And those cases I've shown you would be the majority of your um, troubleshooting efforts. It's either index misconfiguration or or some sort of mistake in the rule itself for the vast majority of the cases. So hopefully you've learned something new from this video and I will see you guys in the next one.